Hi, I'm Chris Lankford, a product manager at Rigaku. I'm excited to introduce you to our Rescue Sequel product. The Rescue Sequel is our newest handheld ramen analyzer used for the detection and identification of unknown substances in a tactical form factor. Designed specifically for the demanding needs of safety and security applications, the Rescue Sequel is the tool of choice among law enforcement, customs agencies, first responders, and the military. The Rescue Sequel is built on our time-tested and field-proven 1064 nanometer wavelength ramen engine. Utilizing ramen means that we can provide analysis that is non-destructive, analyze a wide range of material types, such as solids, liquids, powders, paste, and gels, and we can scan through translucent packaging, keeping you safe from exposure. The added benefit of the 1064 nanometer laser is that it minimizes fluorescence issues, which has been problematic for other Raman instruments that utilize shorter wavelengths. You now have the ability to identify color, dirty, or impure substances even through colored packaging. Utilizing the 1064 Raman Advantage, combined with a large onboard chemical library of over 13,000 compounds that include narcotics, cutting agents, explosives, precursors, chemical warfare agents, toxic industrial chemicals, household chemicals, and more, coupled with the added benefit of allowing you to easily add new chemicals, the Rescue Sequel broadens the range of materials that you can analyze in the field. Rescue Sequel can be operated either by keypad or touchscreen. If you're wearing light PPE and operating the instrument by touchscreen, blue latex or black nitrile gloves tend to work best and are recommended. If you're wearing heavy PPE, generally you will probably want to be using the tactile keypad for interfacing with the instrument. The instrument interface is extremely easy to learn and use. Most users become proficient with the Sequel very quickly. The power button is located here. And then with the nose cone setting set to three and the sample flush against the nose cone, covering the aperture, let's start the scan sequence. Select scan. Select arm laser and select scan. The instrument will begin scanning the sample. Observe the red laser warning light that will turn on when the laser is energized. Once the spectral data on the sample has been collected, the instrument will search its library for a match. And when a match is found, an identification is made. The typical analysis time is usually less than one minute. In this example, we have a perfect match for hexamine, which is considered a threat in our library due to the fact that it is a fuel tablet. The result screen will signify a threat with a red display, a non-threat with a green display, and a controlled substance with a yellow display. From this screen, I can interrogate the answer further by swiping to the left and right to see the resulting spectrum, more detailed information about the scan, and the resulting PDF report file. With the Rescue Sequel, you have the ability to take a photo of your sample with an onboard camera that then automatically attaches itself to your tamper-proof PDF report. The included 4C technology automatically monitors individual scans for recipes of potential greater threats. An optional unique feature to the Rescue Sequel is the ability to detect non-visible amounts of material with the quick detect mode. There is a measurement delay timer to help keep the user safe from potential volatile materials. The Rescue Sequel is environmentally sealed to a rating of IP68, allowing it to be dunked in decontamination solution. The Rescue Sequel has built-in Wi-Fi for easy transfer of data and reports, as well as a USB-C connector, which handles both data and power in a single connector. The removable, rechargeable, and hot swappable battery sits behind this sealed waterproof door at the bottom of the instrument and offers five hours of continuous use. The Rescue Sequel is also compatible with disposable 123A batteries. There are a number of adapters and accessories available to make sampling even easier for a diverse range of applications and sampling environments. The small shield in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen indicates the instrument's calibration performance verification status. A green check is good. A red check indicates that calibration is required. 
we recommend a performance verification check against the included certified sample both before and after use. The Rescue Sequel includes a support package that includes access to our 24-7 reachback line, free software upgrades, and library updates for the life of the unit, as well as a 24-month warranty.